So get this, according to the Pew Research Center, one in three Americans has at least one tattoo. It's a $2 billion industry that is growing in popularity among people of all genders, races, and political ideologies. So what is the big appeal? Hmm. Well, to answer that question, I'm joined by Dr. Dustin Kiskaden, a Seattle sociologist and the author of a new book called Blood and Lightning on Becoming a Tattooer. Welcome to New Day. Thanks for having me. So you're a sociologist and a tattooer? That's correct. It is not something you hear every day. Absolutely not, and <laughs> it's not something I expected of my own life. Uh, like many people in a PhD program, I was searching for topics, became interested in tattooing, and stumbled into an apprenticeship, and it totally changed my life. Okay, so you're in an apprenticeship while you're writing this book or your, or your thesis? Totally. So I was juggling being a tattoo apprenticeship, being a sociology student, and I was also a lecturer at UC Davis. So sometimes I would tattoo someone in the morning and then go teach a class in the afternoon and spend my nights reading and writing. It was, uh, it was a wild time. Okay, this is crazy to me. So why, as, as a sociology student, when you're writing your PhD, why were you like, oh, mm, tattooing, I think that's interesting. Because I think it's fascinating right. that we are so obsessed with this. Is that what interested you? So the thing that initially interested me was a question around, we know a little bit about people who get tattoos and we see them all over the place, but we know very little about the people who do all these tattoos ah. on us and our friends. And okay. so, I thought to peek behind the sort of scenes, jump on the other side of that experience, and what encouraged me to write the book was really that I was blown away by what I found there. In fact, all the stuff I was reading and learning about tattooing didn't really explain what I think is actually most radical and fascinating and, uh, and, and amazing about it, which is that when you go to do it, it feels incredibly powerful. And there's something special that happens and I used the book to try and do my best to understand and explain that specialness. Okay, so what you're saying is when the tattoo artist puts needle to skin, there's almost like a spiritual transformative moment? I would say it begins prior to that because these people have a job of wrangling their clients and learning about what they need and then working on the body you know, itself and doing all of this for money. There's this kind of confluence of things that occurs for the tattoo artist much before they actually begin the tattoo. Um. But in sitting to do it, it's this, as you might imagine, often a terrifying experience to put permanent marks on the someone who's often nervous and in a great deal of pain. And so it's that sort of swirling amount of things that are occurring that yeah. can create something that's really special. And really intense though. I mean, I'd be so nervous I'd make a mistake. Uh, constantly nervous. Uh, that was me at least for the first couple of many dozen tattoos I did and in fact what I found is that emotion, the kind of nervous and fear, yeah. is instructive. It teaches us mm -hmm. like all the emotions that we have. If you right. pay attention to them and ask them what's this emotion trying to tell me? Well in tattooing it tells you that making a permanent visible mark to someone's body uh, is, is a big deal because yeah. of the way that we think about bodies, especially the display of bodies in public. Absolutely. So I ha we're gonna look at some of your work, but I have to mm -hmm. ask, I mean, some of this is beautiful. I love just how forward facing it is. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's just, it's, it's there. It's not some of this crazy detailed, I mean, this I love, this is really, wow, that person lost their head. I dig that, I'm here for that. <laughs> probably deserved it. Um, can I ask too, is you prefer to use the term tattooer versus tattoo artist? Is that something that's part of your philosophy on this? Yes, yeah, so the word tattooer was interesting to me because it emphasized a kind of labor. If mm -hmm. you think about the word plumber, yeah, uh, we think about tattooers as people who do work every yeah. day. And yeah. tattoo artists, while some people who do tattoos call themselves tattoo artists, mm -hmm. it can obscure the actual labor behind the work itself. So. The designs that you see me doing, they're kind of simple. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they are informed by art history. There right. is a kind of artistry here. That's what I see in it. But I use the word tattooer for a few reasons. Also, the word appears like 3,000 times in the book, and every time you could write tattoo artist, tattooer is just a little easier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Listen, I'm here for that. Yeah. I am. Yeah. So you talk about how the book is really looking at the actual tattooer, but you also kind of explain or explore, I should say, why people get tattoos. Why is it, as a sociologist, yeah. do you think that we desire to mark ourselves? 
So what I found to be really interesting about this question was, well, I'll give you an example. Someone came to me and they had a really beautiful tattoo. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. I'm terrified to put one of my tattoos next to it. Yeah. And the person said uh, something like this. Yeah, it's great, but the person who did it was a jerk. And it took me a while to like this tattoo. Oh. And part of what that helped me think about is the fact that people enjoy having tattoos, mm -hmm. but the experience of getting the tattoo is really important. And for the tattooer, that means mm -hmm. you have to give someone not only a good tattoo that will be there, yeah. but a good experience. So I actually believe that while people enjoy having tattoos, and there's something to say about what that means, maybe that's the second book. That is the second is book. There is something to do with people actually, they must enjoy getting them. The process, the experience, because okay, they wouldn't get as many as they get unless that was actually important too. That is interesting because I think that's been one of the barriers to me ever getting one. Also, my mom saying, don't you ever mark your body. <laughs> yeah, um, but I that. think, but then in, at the end of her life, she wanted to go get a tattoo. So, you know, there you go. but I have to say, I'm, it's interesting that you say, is it, is it there a pain and reward thing? Do you think it is or? So they're definitely painful. And yeah. one of the things that you'll find in the book is that as a tattooer, it is difficult to put people through pain mm -hmm. all the time. Imagine yeah. that's your job. Uh, it adds up over time yeah. and people do a lot to try and obscure the pain during the experience. Right. But, um, the fact that they're painful is true. <laughs> it's very real. But like other things that are painful, people get through it. They get through it. That's true. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dustin. If you would like to hear more from Dustin, he's actually launching his book tonight, March 14th, at Elliott Bay Book Company. And you can go ask him more questions.